Fuck it, oh, it's tight. Hello everybody, welcome to a Boxing Day vlog. I've literally just got dressed on the spot where I am. Uh, so now I've got to go put my stuff back in the car. Hold on. What's this? There's my lorry getting her warmed up, look. Just getting her warmed up. Let's put my shoes and trousers in the car. Lock the car up. Right. Let's get in the cab, it's getting a bit chilly. Let's go. I'm hoping I'll be alright just park there. Right. Let's do the window up, it's a bit quieter then. Let's put you up there. So welcome to today's vlog, uh, it's Boxing Day today, 26th of December and I've got to get loaded and take one load to Mortimer train station, something like that and uh, just the one load I need to do and I'm getting paid a good 150 quid for it so I thought why not. So I put my tagger card in. I've done some daily checks. I just need to check the lights in a second. And then we are good to go. We need to set up my dash cams. And also, I need to test out my new mic that I bought for the GoPro. It's not quite as long as I expected it to be, so I need to buy an adapter. Might be a bit dangerous having it there. I'm not sure yet, but we'll uh, we'll have a go on that in a bit. So, um. Yes. So the first thing I need to do is set up my me, uh, me dash cams. So I've got two dash cams. I've got one which is on all the time. This one. Let's put that there. I only took it away. Uh, I only took it home with me because I had some footage on there I wanted to, to take off. So there's that one. Plug that in. Like so. And then we've got my main one which I use for my vlogs which goes in like there let's put them both on power 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 sat nav has got power as well so that's all good so that's the dash cam set up I just need to pause my vlog on one and format it so there's nothing on it so when I start vlogging with the dash cam, I can just press play and then it's all done then, ready to go. Right, so, we've got fuel, we've got air pressure, we just need to test the lights out and a few bits and bobs, what's the time? I want to be across the road for half past, it's 20 past now, so I've got a few more minutes. I don't know whether this mic works, so um, one way to find out. Let's plug you in. Now well, let's take you off. There might be a delay in audio here but um, fingers crossed it works. Ready? Oh hang on, I can't get it in. Don't normally have that problem. Right the mic's now plugged in so hopefully you can hear me a bit clearer. Um, now I get some sort of idea of what it's going to look like. Yeah I can't have it like that while I'm driving that's not good enough, too dangerous. But what I can do is clip it here, feed the cable up there and clip it there. So we'll test that out and see if I'm a little bit clearer. But it will do for now while we're outside because the engine gets quite noisy. Let's move you up a bit. Right, so we need to do a light dance. So I need to put the beacons on and I need to press that button, hold the headlights so the hazards turn on. And now it's doing a light dance. So I might as well just check 
the front first, I don't know why I'm going to the back. Open the window. He's <coughs> <coughs> just making sure all the lights are working. They seem to be. And then we walk down the side, make sure this one lights up, which it does. Make sure my three side lights light up. Come on. Oh, that was on. Might be where it's really bright. Yeah, it went on. Yeah, they're on. I see them on now. It's too bright at the back, so you can't see it very well. Uh, make sure the back ones are all on. That's good. And then we just check these side lights. So I can see the indicator lights down there. One, two, and three there on as well. That's it. Lights are all good to go. Oh, I just realised I won't be able to put the mic there. Right. Now I just need to experiment with the mic a little bit. I was hoping the cable was going to be a lot longer so I could have it feeding all the way around here behind the seat so I can just lift it up. See if it's there. It's not hindered by the door at all, which is good. I want to make it a little bit more tidier. Now we put it through there. Right, I need to pause this and just try and fix it. <laughs> One sec. Right, I've got it set up. I don't know whether it's any good up there. It's just temporary until I get the longer cable. I don't know if you can quite tell. Basically, the cable's plugged into the GoPro. It then feeds itself up to there, around there, and it's just there for a second. So at least I can open my door without it interfering. It's not over here, getting in my way of the steering wheel, which is why I want it down here. So I can just, not a nice long cable, and then I can lift it up. It's out of my way of the steering. I won't get in the way. Anyway, that's that done. Let's turn the old the old dash cam on. So this is how I sync it up. I go time on the dash cam is twelve twenty three, syncing in three two one, and that's on the screen. That's now synced up. Um, right now, I probably sound a little bit weird because there's both audio on. So I turn the audio down on the dash cam, so it's just on the GoPro, and then I sound like this. And that's how I sync up my dash cam and my GoPro. Right, so we're good to go. It is now 25 past 12. Um, I'm going to go across the road, get loaded, and then when I see you next, it, we will be on our way. That's the plan, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're well on our way. We've um, been driving now for a good sort of, I don't know, 45 minutes. Right? We are about 15 minutes away from where we've got to be. Uh, ETA there is at about 20 past 2. But just been told that they don't actually want it until 4 o'clock. So um, I might have to wait an hour and a half before I even tip. But it is supposed to be a straight tip. So that much is good. In fact, it's a straight tip. But um, I might have to wait before I actually tip it. <coughs> That's all. So it's a bit annoying, but never mind, not a lot I can really do about that. Still getting paid enough for work today. As long as I leave there by four o'clock, then I have absolutely no problem with what's on there. As long as I leave by four o'clock, which will be about an hour and a half after I get there. So let's wait and see. It's supposed to be quite tight down there as well. And there's not an awful lot of parking and obviously I've got to find somewhere to park up for an hour and a bit. So I'm going to drive there, have a little look, see if I can see it. And when I get there it should be on the right hand side. And then see, to see if I can park outside somewhere. That's the plan. Never mind. <coughs> oh, more bad news. Junction 15, there is a car on fire. So um, yeah, not really good is it? On the way back, that is. 
uh, car on fire on the hard shoulder. So, at the moment the M4 that way is closed. Police have closed all three lanes. I've seen two fire engines go past uh, and a marked police car among other vehicles. But um, yeah, hopefully that's all cleared up by the time I get there later. Have to wait and see. Have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, no, unfortunately it wasn't quite as easy as what I thought it was going to be today. I thought it would have been a case of getting loaded, driving here, tipping, driving back. But it's not. It's going to be driving here, waiting for ages, then tip, then drive back. So, two and a half hour day, at least, has turned out to be a more like five hour day. But never mind. It's what it is. I'll work out how many hours I've done later, and I'll work out how much I was paid per hour. I'm on a flat rate today of £150. So no matter how many hours I work, it's 150 quid I'm getting. So it's not too bad. Just just want it to be over as quickly as possible and then I can enjoy having a week and a bit off and then come back to work. Never mind. Anyway, I'll probably see you in a second. I'm coming off the M4 in a bit. And then very soon we should hopefully be able to try and find it together. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, so we're off the M4. We are heading towards Mortimer. We're um, a couple of miles away, but I'm just trying to find places to park up <coughs> because I might come back here yet yeah, and park up. So I'm only um, five minutes away from when they call me. Or. Basically, I'm, I'm just trying to find if there's anywhere to park here, and I'm going to go and have a look anyway to see whether I can park there. If I can't, then I can come back here, for example, even if it's just on the side of the road with all my beacons on. But I'm hoping the road don't get too narrow in a sec, because it could be. This road looks really quiet, which is why I don't have a massive problem just stopping here on the road put my beacons on, put my hazards on, no big deal. It's a nice straight road. I think I've been down it before, it really, really rings familiar, I don't mean. I sort of, I think I've been here before. Not to where we're going, just this road. Two miles away. Now there's a turn coming up, which don't look very nice. Cross lane. Any bloody street or road that has lane in it is normally bad. I think it's alright. I think. Let's have a look. Right, road narrows. That's what that sign there says. Adverse camber. The sun is bright. Train track, lay by there, could stop it there. Just three minutes away. Yeah, I, I want to park outside the turn in where we need to go down to the train station because I don't want the next lorry coming, going a different way in and cutting in front. He wouldn't cut in front if he knew I was waiting, but he might not know I'm waiting there. That's a bus stop. Although, I did see any uh, timetables on it, so it might not be active. Yeah, I, ideally I just want to park up on the road outside the turning. I'm there then. Got a roundabout coming up at half a mile. Be interesting to know if it's big enough for me to do a full circle on. Obviously some roundabouts I can't do a full circle on because I'm too big. 
So hopefully it's not a mini roundabout, it's an actual established roundabout. Nearly there, now we'll be there in less than two minutes. It is quite quiet. Is that another lay-by there? The sun's in my eyes. Yeah, that's another lay-by. Could stop there. That'd be a better one to stop in than the first one. Caution site entrance. It's not for me though. past him. I'd rather stop here as well where they can see me so they know I'm waiting rather than being half a mile down the road. Stop here. I might have got a little bit too close then but I'll just put the mirror in. Push it back. I can't quite see. That's it. So we're here now. Just gonna wait for them to uh, call me in. Hopefully straight tip, and then go home. Gonna have to wait and see how long we're here for. I hope that mic's working. Right, I just went out, went and spoke to him, double check I'm in the right place and all that, pretty sure I was. Uh, and they said, what have you got on? I said, to be honest, I ain't even, ain't even checked, you know. I assumed he'd be coming here. AC6, that's Toppins. He goes, oh yeah, it might be for the other gang. I was like, well, where's the other gang? And they said, I don't know. Fucking useless, it was one of the new guys. Turns out there is no other gang, it's just them, so that was a load of fucking bullshit in the first place. Uh, so they goes, right, yeah, you have to go speak to matey boy, and uh, it sort you out. So I went and spoke to matey boy, he said, oh yeah, you're going to have to bear with us, our, our diggers broke down. We, uh, we got, we got to move it, we've got to get it fixed and moved it, move it before we tip you. So like, yeah, that's fine, like, I don't mind waiting a little bit. He goes, yeah, you'll have to bear with us. I said, that's fine, how long are you going to be? And he goes, uh, oh, not long, not long. I said, how long? I said, how long's not long? He goes, yeah, it's not, it won't be too long. So, like, okay, five minutes then, yeah? He goes, oh, no, no, it'll be longer than five minutes. I'm like, well, that's longer than not long then. Not long in my book, because it's five minutes. I, I won't be long, you know, I'll be, I'm five minutes away. So, um, he wouldn't actually give me a time. He just said, not long. So, I could be here another hour at least. What's the time now? What is the time? Have us too. Like I said, as long as I'm tipped and I'm leaving by four o'clock, I don't mind. Because that is that was the plan. That was tipped by four o'clock. Well, it wasn't the plan. That was what I wanted. I want because I was originally supposed to be loaded at three o'clock. I wanted to get here straight tip and go home. So it would work out to be about the same. Just a little bit longer worked. Got in the yard for half past twelve. Yeah, half past twelve. So far I've worked for two hours, going to be working at least another hour on the journey back. And if we say one more hour tip in, so that's four hours. Which ain't bad, 150 quid for four hours. But of course we know how many hours exactly I've done when we come back. Get back, brother. Ah. Ah, 
So, been here half an hour now. Just been informed that the third driver is on its way. So, a um, bit more weight than needed, I reckon. So, I'm just out of the top of my lorry now, as you do. Literally just sat up on top of it. Got the GoPro resting on the cab. So yeah, I've been here now for a good half an hour. Well, I've been here more than half an hour, really. Half two I got here. And it's nearly 20 past three. So, I've been here now almost an hour. Uh, it could be another half an hour or so before they're actually ready for me. Bit annoying, but at least the sun's set out. Hopefully I'll be back before it's dark. Hopefully. But uh just have to wait and find out, see whether we will actually be back before it's dark or not. But hopefully we are. I'd like to be. Right. We better climb back down, don't we? So because it's a straight tip. I don't actually have to do anything to prep for the tip itself. Uh, if I was doing sheet work, if I was doing sheet work, then I would have to put pins in here and put the twist locks on, like I did in the last video. If I was doing paver work, then I would lift up the flaps. But it's a straight tip, so I haven't got to do anything. I put a little bit of diesel on here just to make it come off a little bit easier, but. Other than that, there's literally nothing else I need to do. We just gotta wait. Just gotta wait for them to say, yeah, come on in. Which hopefully it won't take too much longer now. Time's cracking on. Ah, still waiting. What time's it? It's 20 to three at the moment. Just to make sure the engine starts. Yeah, 20 to 3 at the moment. Got here at 20 past 2. So yeah, been here an hour and 20 minutes. Almost an hour and a half. Now they said they, they wanted to wait two hours between the tips, between the first tip and me. And that was when I was half an hour away from being here. So in theory, if they keep to their original schedule and say two hours, then I should be tipped within the next 10 minutes. But part of me thinks I won't be. The third driver, he's here. He's not behind me, he's parked up on a lay-by uh, down the road that I said I was going to go park up at. But I'm glad I'm here, because if I wasn't here, and I parked up uh, at the lay-by, I'd be calling them saying, where the fuck? You know, when the fuck, not where the fuck, when the fuck do you actually want me? I keep seeing people like look over here, just waiting for them to actually say, yeah, we want you. Ah, it's annoying. <coughs> I am going to have to say what I just done more often. Give me a sec to uh, catch my breath, as it's a bit of an ill. Turn the old dash cam on. Uh, time of the dash cam is four o'clock, sinking in three, two, one. <coughs> right. So I went up to the guys and I said, How much longer are you going to be then? Because you said to be two hours. And I've now been here two hours. I said, I'm good to go. <laughs> and he goes, Well, let me just go find someone. And uh, someone come up to me. I said, yeah, yeah, bring your lorry in, and what we do is we'll uh, give us two minutes, and we'll uh, put some balls down, and you can tip. So, 
So uh, what I'm doing now is reversing in. And then uh, hopefully they tip me straight away. Or relatively quickly anyway. It's getting dark. I mean it's not pitch black or anything but it's getting dark. And I want to go in. Right, I'm being waved back, that's a good sign. That means I'm going to be tipping. Well, I hope. I'm actually tipping right next to the chain track from where I just looked at. Got to go down the tight ramp onto basically right next to the chain track. What's that? It's just a little bit of Alright, no worries mate. Let's get some bulk there for you. Alright, cheers buddy. Where's your bag out? Down there that way, yeah? Watch out the top of that cabin, yeah? Yeah, that's right. The yeah. other lorry in here. Yeah, he's a bit thicker than me, hopefully I don't hit eh? it. I said that other lorry, he's a bit thicker than me. Yeah. Hopefully I don't hit it. <laughs> yeah, there's a building here and there's a, an overhang. The cab will hit it, the body will get underneath it. Hopefully I don't hit it. There's a forklift in there now. Just wait for the forklift to get out so I can uh, tip. I think he's putting down some wood. It is going to be a tight one. You'll see in a second the overhang. If it wasn't there, it'd be alright. I don't know how well you can hear me with this new mic. Or whether you can hear me at all with the window open. Hopefully you can. Hopefully in the next video I'll have a longer cable so it'll be right next to me. Come on. Ooh. So much for an easy job. I mean, I haven't worked hard, there's just been a lot of hanging about. People are looking at me right now because I'm talking to myself. I'm just going to put the window up so hopefully you can hear me a bit easier. There's a car coming down now. What's it doing? Oh, early while I was waiting, there was a girl that came up to me. She said, there's a train station open. I said, well, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> right, forklift is coming out. I have to be quiet now while I concentrate doing this next bit.
right a little bit. This is dangerously close to the platform. Not oh, getting out, it's tight. Jesus, that's tight. Looks like they're having an argument. That's tight getting up down here then. Literally millimetres from that big step there. I'm hitting my wing there on that thing on the left. this again. Cheers bud. Cheers, See you later. Right. What fucking nightmare that was? Let me just get out of here. 
How shall I explain? Right. Seatbelt on. These lights off. Window up. Diff lock off. And let's fuck off. Oh man! Firstly, that was so tight. Literally millimetres either side. To the left of me I had fucking electricity box. <coughs> to the right of me, there was a good sort of feet drop. Which if I went down, could have tipped. Like literally could have tipped over. Fuck me. I still forgot to ask when they want him. Oh well, never mind. If I see him, I'm just gonna have to tell him they never said. <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck me, that was uh, tight in there. And then to top it off, my tailgate wouldn't shut. There was a bit of tarmac stuck at the top, which went hard. And no matter how many bloody times I tried getting it off, it just wouldn't come off. So uh, that was fucking annoying. Let's go speak to my mate. Hello. All right. Yeah, I just tipped. Yeah. So, I don't know how long they're going to be. No, right. Uh, go down here and you turn left. Then. Yeah, there's a roundabout. Turn left. Yeah. It's just on the right. Just on the right. Yeah, I just parked outside the junction. Right. Okay. So, just before bridge. There's yeah. enough room there. Yeah, that's it. So that's why I done. No worries. All right. It's tight. Is it? Yeah. Back, well, you just back in, took it straight out the door. Uh, yeah. So you've used it up, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. But you got to go. You got to go down the train platform. And it's pretty much the same width of the lorry. Oh, right, yeah. To the left of you, you've got electricity box. To the right of you, you've got a drop. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> you put in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. All right. No worries. Uh, have a good New Year. And you do. All right. See you later. See you later, mate. He um. He works for the same company I work for, but he's not normally an eight-wheeler driver. He normally drives an Arctic, so he should be fine. Yeah, it's getting dark now. Like, I can't do much more vlogging because you can't see me. You'll have to let me know actually in the comments section down below. Do you want me to vlog in the dark even though you can't see me but you can still hear me? Or would you rather I vlog when you could see me and see what was going on? Let, leave your comments down in the uh, sections below. But yeah, we're on our way back now. So, ETA back into the yard is about half past five. Then I've got to drive half an hour to Chippenham to pick up my girlfriend who's around her grandparents' house and then another half an hour drive back as well after that. So basically another hour drive on top of the hour drive I've got to do now. Hopefully the M4's all cleared up because obviously there was that fire earlier. There was a van that was on fire. Hopefully that all clears up. And uh, yeah, fucking hell, that was tight. I said I wanted to leave by 4 o'clock, it's now 20 past 4. So not quite the 4 o'clock I wanted, but it's only 20 minutes in it. At the end of the day. Never mind. Onwards and upwards. I think I can get away with turning that light on temporarily, because it's not affecting me seeing straight on. But you can still see me a little bit. I think it's legal to have them on in it. If you think about like Top Gear and the Grand Tour and all that, Jeremy Clarkson, he normally drives at night with a light on. and. So, as long as it's not distracted, which it isn't, if I can still see the road ahead, then I don't see a problem having this light on temporarily. I wouldn't have it on when it's pitch black. But right now I can have it on. <coughs> so that's it now, don't come back until the 5th I think, the 4th or 5th, something like that. I think it's a Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not entirely sure. I've got my work phone on me, I'll turn it off when I get home, and I'll turn it back on maybe Tuesday and hopefully I'll have a text telling me to come in hopefully I'll have to wait and see uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who's donated to me uh, thus far I've uh, together we've raised 90 pound like oh, I think it's 88 but basically 90 quid so far and that's absolutely amazing some of you have donated I think two pounds some people have donated five pound a couple of people have donated ten pound but one person, <laughs> you've donated 30 quid. I don't know whether you did that on purpose or whether you meant three pound, but I'll take the 30, thanks. <laughs> That's, uh, who was that? That's David, I think. 
David Buckley. I haven't written your name down, but I think it was David Buckley. So cheers, mate. Thanks for that. I wonder if anyone can beat 30 quid. <laughs> that's your challenge. If you want to donate more than 30 quid to me, that's uh, you feel feel welcome to do so. <laughs> But now, honestly, all this money that I get, it's going straight onto recording equipment so I can uh, do more camera angles. Um, one person suggested getting a GoPro session. It's smaller and stronger, apparently. So that's something I would definitely look into. But whatever I get, it either needs to be facing me or going on the back. Because uh, I originally said I wanted the camera to go on the back, but I think the camera I'm using now is good enough to go on the back so um, I might get a 4k camera facing me I don't know that'd be cool wouldn't it right shouldn't do this but I've got to stop where I am right now because something just fell down by my legs it's only a pen but it's distracting and I don't want to have an accident so I was I'm better off something out now on a quiet road like this than on the A on the M4. Let's just uh, tidy up a little bit because everything seems to be all over the place. Yeah, sorry about this. It's really quiet out, so I've got my beacons on, got my hazards on. If you can't see me then not my fault. It's three lanes as well, so I'm not blocking up one lane so there's only one left, there's two extra lanes available and like I said it's not busy. Right, that is it. Sorry, it's just because the pen fell down by my feet so it was very distracting. I just could feel it rolling around and I'd rather be safe than sorry. Hazards off, indicator on, beacons off, check the mirrors and off we go. <coughs> Yeah, so um, thank you to David Buckley for donating £30 and thank you to everybody else who donated as well. Uh, if you want to donate, it's justgiving.com forward slash crowdfunding forward slash Luke C in a HGV. And um, what I'm doing is if you put your name down, when you donate, it asks you to put your name. The name you provide me will be the name that I use to put your name in the description of every video from here on out. So um, every video I upload now, if you've donated to me, your name is in the description saying a big thank you to you because honestly, I can't thank you enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, you haven't got to give me any money. If you do give me money, then it's going towards the page to help it feel better. To look better, to sound better, things like that. Like this mic I bought, I bought out of my own money, the GoPro, the dash cam. I spent quite a lot of money on the equipment already, but just getting a little bit more equipment together would be, would be amazing. You know, get a camera going on the back. If I got enough money, get another camera over there facing me. So you've got multiple, multiple directional cameras. That'd be awesome. I mean, a lot of editing would be required, but it would be awesome. <coughs> so um, yeah, cheers to everybody who's donated so far. If you haven't yet donated, feel free to donate. Like I said, it's justgiven.com forward slash crowdfunding forward slash Luke in a HG. You haven't got to donate 30 quid. You can donate as little as two pound, which is good. Sirens, well, new flashing lights. That M4 better be cleared. Hopefully, the M4's all cleared up now. Because of the fire earlier. I'm going to turn these lights off now. I'm starting to get a little bit more. I don't know, shall I leave them on? Leave them on a little bit. A couple of other things I wanted to talk about real quickly. Um, I mentioned on my Facebook page, but I never actually mentioned in a YouTube video, but I experienced my first tyre blowout a few days ago. Uh, I've got a picture here on the screen now, but yeah. It was, um, I was coming down the A420, right down to the the end from Swindon to Oxford. Got to the red lights, stopped at the red lights. Uh, I was in the right-hand side lane because I needed to go right. Um, and as I set off, got to about 10, 15 mile an hour. Bang, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it was a loud bang. And um, I looked in the mirror and I saw like, dust and stuff. I saw the car behind me, uh, sort of backed off, it was nowhere near me. 
and I realised I had a puncture of, of some sort, so I stopped on the bridge itself, called my boss, and within sort of 35, 40 minutes, someone come out, fitted the tyre, another 20 minutes later, I was off. So, it took about an hour from beginning to end to get the tyre fixed. It was definitely an experience. I, um, like I said, it's the first one I've ever had. Won't be the last. Driving hundreds and hundreds of miles a week, you see tyres on the side of the walls, uh, of the roads all the time. So, it's going to happen eventually. When you drive as many hours as, as some lorry drivers do, it's going to happen. I, could, I consider myself to be one of the lorry drivers that do the less amount, the least amount rather, of hours driving per week. Which is an answer which will be answered in my Q&A video, which I have not forgot about. Now I've got this mic, I can use it on my SLR and I plan on recording my Q&A video um, sometime within this week. So hopefully it'll be up before the weekend. Because it's going to be a video that requires a bit of editing. It will probably be at home. So sorry if you wanted it to be in the lorry itself, but it will probably be at home. But I'll try and be as informative as possible. That's for sure. Um, and then finally, before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed to me so far. Uh, and I want to say a big hello to all the new subscribers that subscribed to me. A um, couple, couple of weeks ago, well, actually it was 10, 10 11 days, I, um, I hit 5,000 subscribers. And since then, I've gained over 100 more subscribers in just 10, 11 days. So um, to everyone who's subscribed to me in the past, 10 or 11 days, all 100 of you, I just want to say a big hello, thank you for subscribing, hopefully you stay with me, um, and this goes for everybody, not just for the new subscribers, but if you have any tips or hints or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below, if you think I should do something a certain way, be it driving or vlogging or whatever, or editing, anything you like, leave it in the comment section down below. Because I do, I read every single comment, and that's not a lie, every single comment I read. And I try to answer most of them. I went off a little bit from answering questions, but I realise I need to talk to you guys, I need to answer all your questions. So, um, I do try and answer everybody. If I don't answer you, rest assured, I, I definitely 100% read it. So, um, yeah. I think that's it. I could go on and talk and talk and talk and bore you forever and ever, but I can't do that, can I? <laughs> so thank you for everybody who's watched my Boxing Day vlog. Um, it's a shame I've had to work today, but never mind. Uh, let's work out the hours quickly that I worked. Half past five I'm going to get back in the yard and I started at half past twelve. So that's five hours. So 150 divided by five. That's how much I've earned per hour today. What is 150 divided by 5? 15, isn't it? No, 30. Yeah, 30. 150 divided by 10 is 15. So, £30 an hour. I mean, it'd be really nice if I earned that every day, but... <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, drive safe. Uh, and I will see you again in my Q&A video before the new year. Thank you everyone, see you soon, bye bye.